Hello and welcome typography enthusiasts to another Pimp My Type review. I'm joined by Kev Quirk, cybersecurity nerd and web design enthusiast today. I analyze and feedback his personal blog. We talk about his type choice, the font combination he uses with Fira Sands and Georgia, which isn't ideal and I point out why and how he could improve it. We also tackle on how to better integrate code snippets in his design and how to style pull quotes, too long didn't read, paragraphs and also warning boxes. We also cover if it's a good idea to add margin top and margin bottom to your headings. It's a quite long conversation. We go into a lot of details there, so use the chapter marks to jump to the section that interests you. And what I also want to point out is that Kev wrote an in-depth article about all the improvements and the learnings he made from this coaching session. So he basically added all the things before and after on his blog. So I really encourage you to check this out. I added the link there in the description below. And the article is quite old yet. It's more than four months old, which shame on me shows how long it took me to edit this video. So without further ado, enjoy this session of another Pimp My Type review. So, hi Kev, it's such an honor to have you as my second guest here in the Pimp My Type Review live review with a crappy camera on my side and a brilliant <laughs> camera on your side as you see and some fish and yeah, so you're much better equipped than I am. So before we dive into your site, it would be um, great if you could introduce yourself just in a short sentence or something. Yeah, sure. So thanks for having me, first of all, Oliver. Um, I'm really sure. looking forward to uh, having a bit of time with you and picking your brains on some on some of the expertise that you've got. So um, my name's Kev Quirk, obviously. Um, during the day I work, I work in information security uh, for a large bank, a large global bank. And um, in my spare time, I really enjoy writing. I've always found it quite cathartic. You know, I've, I've always just really enjoyed that. And I've maintained the blog for quite a long time, quite a few years now in, in various forms. And um, typography is kind of one of the things that I'm aware of and I know bits about, um, but I want to make the experience the best it can possibly be for the people who come to yeah. the site. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think typography is a huge part of that. I think people get hung up on okay. the design, colors and all that kind of stuff, but I think typography is a huge part of it. So that's why okay. I reached out to you to see if we could have a chat. Yeah, sure. Great. So your motivation behind it or your um, goal behind learning about typography is to um, enhance the experience of your readers, of the readers of your blog. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, I think it can have it can have a huge, a huge impact. Um, yeah. You know, in the past, I've used I've used like um, just standard um, local font stacks, you know, like um, Apple system, Helvetica, yeah. Arial, Sans Serif, that kind of stack. And it's okay, but it's just very samey and boring to be to be frank. And um, the reading yeah, experience sure. is okay, but sure. I, I, I'm a bit of a nerd when it comes to typography. You know, if I see a site that's got really beautiful typography, I always, you know, I, I have the what font extension installed and stuff. Yeah, you know, yeah. so I can find out what font people are using and things. You know, I just yeah. find it really interesting. Yeah, that's great. That's great. I love when people also yeah, are bitten by the typography bug and uh, share their knowledge and expertise. I also saw that you wrote something about it on your blog. So kudos to you. Perfect. Yeah. Um, yeah, then let's write, uh, dive right into it. I love that effect on the side. <laughs> <laughs> but before we go into it a bit more, um, would you like to tell me what values or what atmosphere your site should convey so that I have a guideline to um, yeah, make an assessment? Yeah, it's kind of, it's a bit of a double-edged sword. I think it's, it's um, I kind of want it to be kind of professional, not in, not in like a corporate sense, but professional in a sense that Oh, this guy knows what he's talking about. He understands the subject matter that he's writing about. Um, okay. But I also want it to be a little bit fun and a little bit tongue in cheek as well. You know, not not yeah. just business. You know, my writing style is quite informal. Um, yeah. yeah. And I, you know, so I want the experience to be good. Yeah. But I, I want it to be a bit fun as well. Um, okay. You know, a lot a lot of the stuff I write about is tech. So yeah. It's, um, 
you know, it can be quite dry and boring. So. And who do you think is your audience there? Are these other developers or people who want to learn about these things or your clients? No, it's, it's, it's mainly, I try to gear my, uh, my, my writing at, uh, it can be, it's, it's a broad scope, but I, I try to, whenever I write something, some, some of the things I can write about could be quite deeply technical, mm. but I try to write it in such a way where pretty much anyone can absorb it as long as they've got a little bit of technical knowledge they can absorb mm -hmm. it and kind of understand it so i i aim at beginners mostly but yeah um if there's stuff in there for more advanced people as well but it's mainly like developers web developers people coming into that that kind of industry i suppose or people like me who are just interested in it and do it as a hobby yeah yeah Okay, so people who are uh, interested on a personal level, they're not so much, not necessarily on a professional level, but could be. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, that's great. So then um, since your blog is, uh, or the blog itself is the most important thing for you or part for you, um, I, I'd suggest we dive into one article and take that apart. Okay. <laughs> All right. So Sorry, I get um, nervous. Oh, he's yeah. brought up the typography oh, yeah. post as well. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> awesome. So I have an extension as well. You have the what the font extension, I have the font ninja extension. But I already saw that this is Fira Sans you're using on the site. And yep. you're using the condensed version of it, which I think um, Fira Sense is a great typeface, just to talk about the type choice first. Um, it's rather popular, which, which won't make it super distinct. So this is a mm. bit of a downside, since it's very widespread. It's based on the meta, uh, on the typeface called Meta by Eric Spiekermann, which is also was vastly popular in the 90s, was used in the Berlin subways and, and, and public transport system there, and it still is. So it's oh. highly legible. Um, that was the, the reason behind it, basically. And um, the, 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 the choice you made using a condensed style is also, I think, beneficial when it comes to mobile, since it fits a bit more um, text into one paragraph uh, or, mm -hmm. or one line. So this is a bit, um, yeah, this is more helpful, I guess. So, and... Um, Meta uh, or Meta, it's basically Meta, but um, Fira Sense also conveys this. Um, yeah, it's 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 technical, but also casual, a bit casual. It's approachable, so it's not super formal. It's not like Helvetica or Futura. Futura being this super geometric, clean, slick mm -hmm. typeface, which is a bit yeah drier, I'd say then. Yeah, so this works well, I guess. What uh, when I take a look at the hierarchies here here. I clearly can say, yeah, okay, this is the title. So the hierarchies work there for your H1 heading. What I think would be helpful when I just take a look at it here in the in the browser um, on desktop is when you maybe edit. I'm just doing this here right now for the for the um, for the heading. Not sure, just a bit of more margin maybe on the heading because it's. You have a lot of space underneath it with this yeah. divider and very little space above it. So I'd, mm -hmm. I'd maybe I'd aim for something more. If you're engineering or doing, I, I reload it because Font Ninja ruined everything. They added in some <laughs> classes and stuff. Yeah. So, but um, since you're a tech guy, I'm going into a bit more technical details, I guess. You could yeah, also yeah. do this then with uh, a viewport units or something or calculate something yeah. that's maybe half of the space above what it has underneath or something. You'll figure yeah. something fine out, yeah? And I also appreciate that this is a correct uh, apostrophe and not just uh, um, a quotation mark, a single quotation mark. Fine choice. Very, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what I also um, would consider here when you're doing that um, if, if on your font stack, maybe go for the send serif before you load the typefaces, since I saw a glimpse of a serif typeface when right. it was loading. So this is also, I think, when you have, I, I'm absolutely um, in, or let's, yeah, let's you a uh, fraction of a second. Uh, right. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, it's just, this is just a tiny detail. 
And I'm all for this flash of unstyled text since it's more important to see the content before you get, um, yeah, the nice typeface. Yeah. Always content first here. But um, just go for sans serif, then it won't be that different, I guess. Okay. Um, may maybe another tip would be that you could um, combine your um, your date with the with the category, since you have two elements there and you have a lot of different elements here so you have your mm -hmm. little icon with the date which is nice it's not really necessary since it's a date anyway but leave it let's mm -hmm. leave it there and maybe after that you ha could have the category in one line and then you also might style it a bit differently maybe just underlined or something so then it would be a bit calmer i think yeah i'm, I'm not doing this right now it would be a lot to code here for right now but, <laughs> um, but just just as an idea um, about uh, your intro text, that's that's nice because I always encourage people to write a lead-in paragraph or something like this mm -hmm. that can draw you in, that's more interesting, so that that you have something, um, yeah, to get started with. And I, I've yeah, sorry, I've actually recently changed the design of the intro text a little bit, and I wanted mm -hmm. to ask you about that actually. Yeah, sure. um, yeah. If you go to one of my more recent posts, like one of the last last literally the last two or three posts okay. um if you just go to my latest post that would be fine yeah okay um so i've changed this slightly to be this kind of either a very slight board the top and bottom yeah. and added like a little yeah. tldr but most importantly i've changed the font i think it's georgia off the top of my head it is um yeah. is that too much yeah or for 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 this intro text tldr i, I appreciate tldrs a lot since i'm doing them myself nobody has time show me what the meaning is and let's yeah. move on um I, th I don't think it's too much but i think the combination doesn't work that well with georgia um because when you take a look at your serif type uh, sense serif at the fira sense it's rather condensed and mm -hmm. also it's rather narrow but georgia is broader so the x side uh, the the height of the lowercase letters is more or less the same um, as I can charge now from, from, from my eye here, but um, I'd go for, there's a great typeface called um, Meta Serif, okay. which is basically Fira Sense in Serif, basically, yeah, it's not exactly, but the metrics might be closer to that, so maybe you could take a look at that. I don't <laughs> think it's a free font though, so, but maybe for one way you might invest it, or yeah. not, let's just say 30 pounds or something or whatever. Um, okay. And and um, then they, because Meta Serif and Meta, Meta are, are yeah, made to fit together since they are type family. So um, this would be a, far, a recommendation here because yeah, it's not, it's, 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 it's too, it doesn't really fit together. Mm -hmm. since the proportions are different here yeah mm -hmm. it's, that makes sense um, or, or or other approach would be to make it really different to make you use something that's really standing out and different um a, a bit more bolder maybe not in the sense of the weight maybe but just a bit more striking or something like that like, yeah? a, like a, a more more of a display font yeah for example if it's okay. just for the uh, too long didn't read uh, or for for type is to clothe your words well. Oh, thanks for the quote. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, then it's uh, basically it's basically something that can stand out there, and you can yeah motivate people to read it since it's very short and large text anyway. So mm -hmm. I guess that would work. And what I also would uh, do here, not, not changing the typeface right now, I reduce the margin there since it's very far away. So, um, yeah. yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it looks like kind of falling apart or something in this. Yeah. So, yeah, so I, um, something like this or this way. Yeah. This. Yeah, so, and now it's more concise and I think it's easier there to read. So regarding the visual hierarchy, this definitely works. What I also like a lot is um, how you um, use your code um, elements here and highlight them. And, but we could also go into a tiny detail here and make the font size of your code 
maybe a bit larger since when you want to combine it try to make it visually more or less the lowercase letters the same height as the body text so it wouldn't now it looks smaller than this the problem with monospaced mm -hmm. font is that they use up more space of course but let's, yeah. let's see if this works here when we say it's um yeah 1.1 am or something oh that's too much it's, oh, it's a lot now it's oh line height <laughs> <laughs> So maybe 0 0.9 or something. Yeah, I think that's a bit closer there. Now it's very striking, but as well here as well, um, you're using here uh, consolers, I see. Um, but you could maybe um, also, I'm not sure if Fira has a mono. Oh yeah, there's Fira mono, of course there is. Yeah, I think so, there is, yeah, I think there is. Yeah, I'm, uh, if you don't want to load that many fonts, sure, but um, you can, yeah. you can, yeah rank it down and eventually it will download so yeah yeah but if there's a type family that already has this monospaced version i'd encourage you to use it since it comes from one family everything fits more together there yeah and then here you have a different kind of so this would be then the pull quote as i saw and this would then be the quote or something so so that one's just like that's just like a notice box almost okay um I've been thinking about adding, like I've got on the TLDR, mm -hmm. on the new post, I've been thinking yeah, about yeah. like a little bit of pretext that says no to something out to call out what it is, because yeah, it's, yeah. it, it's ambiguous. Yeah. I think this would be helpful because then you would recycle elements. And this is always the thing with design. You introduce new elements or new styles, and then you reuse them over and over again. If it's something similar or the same, and with this TLDR, this could also be considered like a note or something. Yeah, yeah. And then when you would use this on this part, the reader will get that this is something that they've already seen and this is familiar. So I'd encourage that. Yeah, that's, that's, mm -hmm. that's a good idea. So yeah, now this stands out more since we, we increased yeah. the size here. Yeah, but I think it works. You could maybe reduce the background color then slightly and may, uh, or, or remove the border or something like this to, to make it not that um, yeah striking here. And when I take a look at this um, pull quote or something, um, in, in larger sizes, you could also reduce the line height because 1.6 is very is a lot it's for body text yeah. it's ideal line head always is depending on your the width of your column so on your measure as, as typography <laughs> um, fancy terms say um, but you could reduce it to one four or one three since this is very large so you don't need that much space the shorter the line the shorter your line height can be and the lines are short because your text is large so yeah yeah and when you're using something here, you use the italic here, you use it here as well, and here you're using the upright. So um, I would yeah, make, make, make up your mind what style you want to use there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes, this is great. <laughs> this is a great example. I have to go to the, 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 the content here. Um, yeah, nobody wants to read that. It's just horrible. So avoid <laughs> script fonts. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, yeah, this is a kind of a warning, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah, I. Um, yeah, it's another new style. So there are so many it, different yeah. kinds of highlights. Yeah, so. there's a lot going on. Yeah, maybe you could reuse this one then. So just mm. suggesting because at the first glimpse, I'd say, oh, this is a button or something. I want to. I want to click it because it's red and it says don't. So <laughs> yeah. I want to. <laughs> All That's right. Good point. Yeah. So, um, okay. Yeah, this is also nice, like that. Um, like how it's integrated and now how seamless. When you see a code so, or, or, or a, a pre formatted box here, it's, it's, it, it nicely integrates with your mm. code. So, that's, that's very well done. Yeah, this is also great. So can't say anything about that. Yeah, about your body text. I think the measures or the line height is, is fine. Um, you can read it easily. Um, it's good. And yeah, let's move further down. See if I don't. Yeah, as we already said here, the spacing. And yeah. yeah. Another thing, another a, a longer quote then. Yeah, there you might, if, if it's longer than 
in another case you might make it a bit more um, uh, smaller, which you already did, of course. Yeah, but yeah, yeah take take a look at Fira uh, at, at Meta. Yeah, I'll definitely check that out. And yeah, I oh thanks. So <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what I also like is uh, your call to action, since it draws attention. This works yeah. very well. Yeah, um, and yeah, you could also reduce some margins and make it a bit more compact here. In this case, maybe just reduce it um, margin bottom zero, something like this. Now it's more of a unit or of an um, and and since it's in a box anyway, so you can save up the space there. Okay, yeah, and for your for your links below that, I think this works well. Um, you could all make the lines, I guess, maybe from one side of the layer to the other, since it's since I think it would be a bit calmer than seeing this um, in this in this in this situation when it's when it's full width here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, yeah. Let's remove the max width and let's see if this works. I'm not sure how you coded it. <laughs> I can't. I, I can't remember. I did it. I did it like in about ten minutes just to get it on there. So I can't. Yeah. I can't and that's have to great play around because with it. we all. Uh, uh, yeah, that's great. I also uh, launch early and re rework stuff often. Uh, I totally appreciate it. Yeah. So make it a bit wider, I guess, and um, then it would be more. Um, yeah, like holding everything else more together. Yeah. And yeah. I think it's not necessary to underline these links in this case, since yeah the context makes it clear that these are um, other posts and then it would also be a bit calmer uh, in your in your photo here yeah okay that's a good point so yeah this is about it for a short review um do you have any follow-up question or are you good with that you have a lot of homework yeah, well, to do so. i do i, I I've, been, I've been typing notes and there's a, there's a lot of them <laughs> sure um so on when on the, in my in my main content of the of the page on yeah. my h2 and h3 i always yeah. add a little bit of margin above it to kind of break things up a bit yeah is that a yeah. good is that a good thing to do i read somewhere it was a good thing to do and i visually i personally like it because it breaks things up a little bit but is, yeah. is that a good thing to do or not it definitely let's just see if we remove i think i use like three work. rems yeah, okay, yeah, but let's just four, uh, rams. Have four rams, okay, whatever. But um, let's just remove them. And when we see this, the hierarchy still works since you have very large headings, but mm. uh, it still works. But in this case, uh, it, it's not that clear um, if it's... Um, the, 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 the issue is, uh, a basic rule in design is, Things that are closer together are related to each other. Things mm -hmm. that are further apart are not. So when when you, as you made it, um, when you added the margin, you made it clear that this heading belongs to the following paragraph. Of course, in order of reading, it does, but it makes it easier to scan. So I'm definitely all for it. So I think this is a good decision. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Good. I did one thing right then. You did a lot of things great. So. <laughs> We're all on a journey here, so it's okay. We are. We are, yeah. We always, if we would, weren't embarrassed, if I wasn't embarrassed of myself, I'm super embarrassed all of, of my type and stuff, of course, because I see all the flaws and stuff, but I'm more on, let's publish more content and fix this later, because, yeah, who yeah. cares in this, you can get lost in the details and should bring you pleasure yeah. and convey your message better. And yeah, or yeah, like yeah, honing your craft also, but yeah, you have to find a point where you stop with it. What I, what I also might suggest since from the hierarchy, um, your age, now you opened up an all new issue. So <laughs> you have here 42 pixels as I saw, and here you have um, 36. I think your age yeah. three could be a bit smaller. Just, mm -hmm. just to make it, or 32 or something because when i'm just glimpsing through your site i was mistaking them for an h2 yeah so now it's a bit easier to get okay this is uh, one higher one level below and this is one above. Mm -hmm. okay yeah so 
yeah, I think we should break it up here because we could go on forever and forever. Not sure if people still will follow, but I would be very interested when you're doing a, a rework and sending it in. Yeah. I'd also love to publish then the link in, in, in the blog article and then the, in the description on the channel. And yeah, maybe we'll have a follow up then. In, in yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've got um, I've got a list of about 20 things to fiddle with now. So I know what I'll be doing this weekend. Um, but it's it, it's good. It, it's really great to get um, a, a fresh perspective because, especially if you, you write the theme or the code for the, for your site yourself, it's very easy to get stuck. Yeah. And just yeah. you, you kind of become blind to it, don't you? All those little nuances, and um, so it's really good to get a, a fresh perspective, especially from an expert such as yourself. So, it's um, yeah, it's hopefully our little uh, the typography will go to the next level once I once I finish fiddling with yeah. it. So I really great. do appreciate it, Oliver. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, of course. I think the one thing that really would improve it is when you use, let's say, something like Meta Serif or something that fits better together. Um, yeah. I have a video on that as well and an article, so maybe you check this out. And um, then, then this would be the one thing where you could focus right now, and it's, I think this would have the biggest effect. Not <laughs> using Georgia there since it's too different. Or not, yeah, yeah. not different enough. What, what, whatever. <laughs> All right. So then, yeah. thanks, Kev, um, and have a great day. And see you in the next video. Then. You too. Thank you very much, Oliver. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. This has been really helpful. Bye.